You got a price in mind? What's up guys? Today I'm going to see my buddy Luke. He is an eBay seller like me, but he does it part time and I think he's just kind of overwhelmed with how much stuff he's been buying and not really listening a whole lot. So he's wanting to sell a whole bunch of stuff to me. Let's go see what he's got. Almost forgot guys, quick reminder, I'm gonna be doing a drawing at the end of this video for the cards. If you guys got in the donation raffle that I mentioned in my last video for the three graded cards, stay tuned at the end of this video and I will draw the winners of that. Most of the stuff back there is like stuff I need to go through for like the stuff I collect. Gotcha. But a lot of the stuff that you can look through is all back here. Is this pipe kind of the dividing line? Pretty much. Okay, yeah, we'll cool. We'll go with that. <laughs> I've kind of put some of the good stuff like out. Gotcha. But yeah, knock yourself Man, there's a lot. Holy cow. Yep. Should have brought IKEA bags too. I wasn't thinking. Um, I've got plenty of bags that you can do you? stuff in. Okay, I've cool. Got boxes too. Right on, man. But yeah, it's dude, it's so much easier to buy than it is to list. Yeah, it's the listing's a grind for sure. Oh yeah. And it's fun, but I haven't had the time. Yeah. And I mean I have time now, but now it's like do I really want to bust my hump for all this stuff? Right. And there's more stuff in the garage, too. Yeah, so, I saw that. I saw the garage doors yeah, open. Yeah, like a lot of the bins in there is stuff that I took to the flea market that didn't sell. Yeah. So there's a lot of Nerf stuff, which for whatever reason, I've never not sold something Nerf that I've listed on eBay. Really? So, That's good. Oh, yeah. People eat that up. It's crazy that it's still popular after all these years. Yeah, I know. And there's still like... Nerf courts and stuff where people go what? to like rent Nerf guns that are like souped up. That's crazy. It's like airsoft, but not. Huh. It's a pretty cool. Look that up. It's a Kenner Gargoyles Castle. Interesting. I've only seen two listed since I bought it. It's missing a lot of the pieces, but it's That's not wild. something that clearly floats around a whole lot. Yeah. Cost oh yeah these are cool those are sick the old collegeville they just need to be swapped they're in the wrong boxes but those are the right boxes for them oh gotcha the stuff that's in totes out here is it up for grabs oh yeah okay cool i just want to make sure i'm not digging anything out that's All the big ones I know for sure you can dig through. Okay. I think I wanted to keep some of the stuff that's in these two small ones. Gotcha. But everything else is all up for grabs. I've been trying to be really mindful of my collecting lately because as more family members pass away and their absolute hordes are having to be dealt with with the rest of the family, I was like, God, I do not want that burden for my it's kids. So, it's so exhausting. And like... My, my Oma, who passed away, she was first generation, Amer or not first generation, she immigrated to America after World War II. She grew up like dirt poor, so she saved everything. Yeah. And when we were cleaning out her house, we still are, my mom was like, it's not that bad. And I was like, mom, this house is full, like full, full, with like good dishware, china, crystal, like, collectibles all kinds of stuff and it's yeah. been i have boxes of stuff in the basement that like some of it's cool to have because i remember like from my childhood and stuff right it's like, i don't know what i'm gonna do with all this stuff i need a bigger house <laughs> check these out whoa it's got every team that's wild is it like early 2000s I saw the New Orleans Hornets is what gave me the time. Oh, yeah. Probably because this clothing company says established 1996. Let's have a little... Yeah, if you look at the teams, like, does it say New Jersey Nets or Brooklyn Nets? That's a good question. Here we go. So this is like the... They haven't had that logo, I don't think, for at least about 10 years. Okay. Mavs, Sixers. 
Yeah, that's cool. I looked them up this size. There's a stain on the back, unfortunately, but I looked up this size. Is that the stain? Yeah. That's not that bad. Somebody sold a pair last month for 50 bucks. Nice. The same size. Yeah, that's an old Warriors logo. But I saw that sitting on like the two go out rack at my Vinnie's, and I was like, I gotta pick these up just because they're sick. Heck yeah. I don't know if you, you still mess with, mess with pops at all. A little bit. It seems like they've kind of lost their luster. That's, like, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, <laughs> there's just so many of them. It's gotten to a point where, like, they really as hot as people say they are but these are all stranger things i mean some of them are obviously right like but the it's... limited ones and the chase ones and stuff but yeah, yeah a lot of the commons i've sold i bought like a bunch of loose ones off a guy and i sold a bunch of them did for, you i made my money back but nice. it, it took a while yeah i would probably just do a big group lot and auction yeah. them off um the problem is 99 percent of them it costs more to ship them than they're worth oh yeah it costs five six seven bucks exactly. to ship them and i'm not going to ship and they're worth three or four dollars yeah exactly yeah so i don't even i see the game cubes do you have a game cube too uh, i probably have like two or three do you really jeez <laughs> oh yeah here's the ps1 stuff all right so i'll buy that i think that's even so... if you don't have the av i've got extra avs it's the power cord that's right. tough to find this one goes with that specific PS1. Uh-huh. And I think this one goes with the old school. Oh, yeah. Good call. On the ground. I'll just buy them both to okay. make it easier. Cool. They don't go for huge money, but they're still... No. Yeah. But, yeah, that's the that's the power cord for the, nice. the compact one. You got a price in mind? Not really. I know I'm, like, in the ballpark of what I paid for everything. Well, I want to make sure you get a profit, sure. a good profit too, because you went through and found it all. What were you thinking? That's 400 sound. I was thinking more like five. I'll do five. Okay. Cool, man. Good deal, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it as well. Helps me Should make be fine. money back and helps Bethany not be so mad at me. <laughs> Is your end goal to clear out a majority of that stuff down there? Yeah, eventually. Because I'd like to be able to actually use my basement. <laughs> I'm thinking in a week or two... We could just like clear everything out of there. Just figure out a price of like yeah. what you don't want. You know what I I'm saying? Keep, yeah, I'll keep going through stuff too. If you're if yeah, you come back through. If you want to um, start like filling boxes or totes or whatever, and yeah. just kind of get it into the garage. Yeah, man. And stack it, and just say like, take this, get it out of the way, and we'll figure out a price. Yeah, absolutely, I can do that. I'll make sure I won't give you anything that's not going to make you money either, because I know I've got some stinkers down here that probably won't sell so that's not a big deal though because i do the sale of my shop oh, occasionally yeah, that's true. You do so like that too, yeah. i can take all your stinkers and yeah. put them in my shop and get that's something right. for them 50 cents a buck or whatever sure. just so that it's not in my way right and then it's you know it's another outlet for it so I'll, i'm happy like whatever you don't want basically yeah. just start filling boxes and yeah. bring it in here and get your basement back and then call me and i'll come pick it up and we'll figure out a price absolutely dude all right, guys, I'm back at the shop. I paid 500 for everything. I got a little bit in this room, a little bit more in the other room. So I'll walk through and show you a few things. Got this whole tote of Little People. Little People can sell really good. I will probably do some auction lots for these. I'll probably just group up some of the animals or like some of the princesses and stuff. I think that's Rapunzel. And just do themed lots. And either auction them off or do buy it now or best offer. But Definitely look out for little people. You guys have heard me talk about them before, especially if you can find them in the box. They can go for some really big money. Got a couple of Pyrex bowls. I think he said these were pastel stripe. Anytime you find Pyrex with some color on it, they're going to have some pretty good value. I didn't look up prices of these, but I would guess at least 20 to 30 a piece. I think I can probably get for those. Got a whole bunch of video games. There's PlayStation um, and this one's PS2. I think there's some Xbox and another one. A bunch of loose Funko Pops too. 
some of these I'm going to be lotting up, doing themed lots of like Doctor Who, Stranger Things, stuff like that. Down here we got this Kenner Gargoyle. I think he said it was the Kenner Gargoyle Castle. And that is going for some pretty decent money. This little Lego thing here is selling for a little bit. I didn't even open these up. He said this was a Star Wars Micro Machine. So I'll probably just do one big auction lot for those. Got a uh, sealed Sony Walkman. It's just the um, AM FM. It's not a tape player, but still. Anything Sony new in the plastic is going to bring some good money. Really cool Pokemon camera from Tiger. Um, I got two PS1s. This is some... Um, Sesame Street toys. Here's a whole bunch of GameCube toys. I got a couple of uh, VHS tapes from my personal collection. Three Ninjas. That's a throwback. I watched that a, bu a bunch as a kid. And then this is one of my favorite 80s movies, Weird Science. Absolute classic. If you guys haven't seen it, give it a watch. All right, in this room, we've got the Micro Machines Super City in the box. The box is pretty rough, but anything Micro Machines does pretty well. Here's the GameCube. I wasn't sure if it worked or not, but it's really not a big deal. I can always just sell it for parts if it doesn't work. Really cool T-Rex. Um, got a Dymo 450 Turbo. A bunch of Bratz dolls. I love selling Bratz dolls. I don't know a thing about them, but every time I get them, I just put one big auction lot, take a whole bunch of pictures, start it at a buck, and they always do well. Seems like Bratz dolls are getting really, really popular again. Let's see, in here I've got some Pixar Cars die cast. Uh, once again, probably going to do a big auction lot with those. This is a really cool piece. This is a Bratz doll display shelf. It's in pretty good shape, and I think I'm going to try to list it on eBay and ship it, because it's not that heavy. It is kind of big, but if I ship it UPS, I don't think it's going to cost me more than... 30 or 40 bucks to ship it, and obviously I'm gonna add that onto the selling price so that the uh, buyer pays the shipping. In this bag, got some uh, Halloween masks and stuff. This is cool. This one's like Hot Wheels, uh, more Little People stuff. Here's uh, one of the PS1s, some more Funko Pops. These are the NBA jeans that he was showing me. These things are absolutely killer. Let's see, the size on these are. Still got the thrift store tag these are 40 40 waist i'm not sure what the length is but yeah really really cool jeans i might try to get that stain out let me show me a little stain right there i'd rather not put these through the wash just not to avoid any damage to the patches on here so if you guys have any tricks to get stains out without putting it through the uh washing machine let me know i'd love to know uh, any and all advice you guys have on that bunch more games ps2 xbox and then some more stuff right here. We got a Chevy Nova model, another Pixar Cars thing, and uh, these like, what are these called? Tsum Tsum something? Some kind of Disney little miniature toy thing. Luke, thank you again so much for the deal, man. I'm really excited to go through all this stuff and get it listed. All right, guys, as promised, we are going to draw winners for these three cars. We're going to start with this Bo Jackson iconic 1990 score Bo Jackson PSA 9. So I've got all the names right here. Uh, we had about 90 donors, so thank you all so much. You guys really, really raised a lot of money for this charity. The orphanage, as a whole, the donations are about $15,000. Uh, just specifically the people that um, clicked on my link, I think is like $1,500. So um, I cannot thank you guys enough. The money is going to go a really, really long way. So without further ado, let's pick some winners. All right, we're spinning the first one for the Bo Jackson. Winner is... Steve! Steve Frisch, got yourself a freebie. Bo Jackson, congrats, my friend. All right, we're going to remove you from the wheel since you won. And next one will be Shohei Otani. Tops Chrome. Rookie card, PSA 10. Let's spin for a winner. Dana Bishop. Congrats, Dana. Awesome card. All right, let's pull Dana out of there and draw for the Billy Ripken error card. A lot of you guys know about this card. This is a PSA 10 
Doesn't look like anything special, but it is about a $400 card. So let's go ahead and spin the wheel for that one. Josh Reynolds. Congrats, buddy. Steve, Dana, Josh, congratulations. Go ahead and email me your shipping information. My email address is down in the description of this video. That is it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.